Hello, everybody. For today, uh, Play 700 application note, this is about displaying voicing text items. So topics are, well, how, where do I create these character items that I can either display or use text-to-speech to, to uh, let the uh, cell phone speak it out. And it turned out to be kind of uh, interesting, sometimes maybe confusing, but we'll see. And then once you have that certain task like displaying, it takes very little time. But like speaking so a few words, it will take some time. So therefore, you're going to have fast tasks and you have slow tasks. How do you coordinate that when you program it in the task tool? All right. So first, uh, I'm assuming you know how to create custom project, or you can even use an existing project uh, from the Play 7. And if you go, you can try it out. You can use the edit. The project uh, menu, of course, come on. These are components you can add into your existing project. And if you go to display character, if you click on that, and then this menu come up. And then you can see you can add different character items. Like I already add already back camera, front camera, first picture, second picture, and also they're registered here. So item one would be ready, item two, character item two would be back camera. The surprise, or I was surprised, or in a way pleasantly, when I go back to the audio input, and I, I, I'm trying to do it here, I thought the character input to text is different from the character, uh, the audio input that you use for uh, text-to-speech. But when I go over there, they're already there. It's the same thing, okay? So, and then, uh, so, character item, audio input item are really the same thing inside uh, Robo, uh, the Play 700 app. Adding to more confusion, when you go to task program in order to basically trigger all these functions, like text to speech or text display, tasks understand them as text item number blah blah blah. So, example, text item two here inside the task program would correspond to audio input two of the audio input list and character item two of the character list. Okay, but when you get that. It actually fairly easy to do. Now, as you know, text in uh, text <coughs> text display is pretty quick. That mean I mean if you send a command, it's gonna show up on the uh, on the uh, cell phone immediately. But text to speech, like if you want to say back camera, that takes a lot longer time than that. So the uh, basically the simple solution really is to start the process that take a longer time to finish you start it first so you start text to speech or text item two first and then you put in the next one which is shorter and then you have any other short task you may need who knows buzzer turning the motor on whatever and then you put the wait while statement to wait for for it for the function to return a zero that means that the, it's finished speaking you can see that I put somewhere else so basically the idea is you start the longest process in between. Uh, you can put any other short task you may need, and then you do a wait while for that function to return a zero, meaning it, the function is finished. Like for example, capture the camera. This is tricky. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow, even from one picture to the next. But the best way to do it is to write a one into the photo capture function, and then do a wait while and keep on reading that same function again. When it ever is returned uh, a value of zero, you know you are done. Okay, so let's see. And I'm going to turn on the robot now. It has a code in there that takes two pictures from the front camera, and then two picture. I mean, two picture from the back camera and two picture from the front camera. Let's see how it's working here. Okay, it's synchronized. Now, if I it, it wait for me to clap. And then in theory, you're going to take two pictures on the back camera here and then take two pictures from this side. Ready. Back camera. First picture. Back camera. Second picture. Oh, I also zoom in a little bit every time. Front camera. First picture. And then zoom in. Front camera. Second picture. Which is hitting the black computer. Let's try it again. Ready. Back camera. First picture. Back camera. Second picture. Front camera. First picture. Front camera. Second picture. That's it. 